Greetings and welcome to another episode of Trippy Food. Today we are in Seattle, Washington, and we are checking out Pike Place Market and all the things around Pike Place Market. So come on, let's have some fun. Right now we're in front of the original Starbucks. This was opened in the 1970s. So if you want to, you can wait in this line behind you to get the same coffee you can get at the Starbucks that's across the street from your house. That's up to you. Right now we're at Beecher's Cheese, where you can watch them actually making cheese in the window and then check out the free samples. The best part, the free cheese. Oh, that's good. So this is the main alley or the main uh, walkway here and there's all kinds of stalls all along there. Uh, produce and goods, different things. This is the main part of the market. Uh, we're going to check out uh, some of the things down here and then we're going to go up and check to see where the, uh, the flying fish are. So right now we're in Brit's Pickles, and Brit's Pickles is famous for their brine shots. Yeah. So it, is it like a certain kind? Is it dill? Is it uh, just it, a... Yep, it's a sour dill brine. Basically what we're doing here is what's called lactic acid fermentation. So this brine that you're seeing here has been sitting in an oak barrel with cucumbers, cu cucumbers, onion, garlic, sea salt, brine, and basically fermenting at room temperature. For how long? Two and a half weeks. Two and a half weeks. All right, yeah. well, let's try one. Yeah. Thank you. And we've been around for about six years, and we make everything up on Woodby Island. Cheers. Cheers. Oh, that's good. Yeah. So we, I mean, I mean, we just pictured like this thing like attacking the inside of your mouth and everything. It's really good. Yeah. So it, we don't use vinegar. So the kind of the glass that you're getting is not going to be as acidic as vinegar, mm -hmm. but it's, that's all fermentation. Wow. It's kind of a smoother kind of pickle. It's definitely a sour pickle. If you've ever, ever been to New York and their Jewish delis, yeah. um, this is the type of pickle. Like the, pick, the, the pickles that are in the, dr and the bowl on the table. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yes. Yeah. Um, that was awesome. Thank you. Yeah, anytime. Right now we're standing in front of Pike Place Fish Company, which is probably the most famous part of this whole place. It's where they throw their fish around. So uh, it's kind of quiet right now, but it looks like the crowd's gathering for a fish throw. So uh, uh, maybe we can catch a mackerel or a halibut.
Post Alley, which is underneath Pike Place Market, and this is known as the gum wall. Now, believe it or not, several months ago, this whole thing was sandblasted clean, and it took no time at all to have this wall placed with gum back on it, all the way down the alley and all the way down up the other side. It's totally disgusting and worth it checking out. If you get a chance to get out to Seattle, you come and check out Pike Place Market. Very touristy, a lot of interesting things to see, a lot of unusual food, a lot of fresh food, but it's definitely worth a visit. Come on down here, Pike Place Market, Seattle, Washington, we'll see you soon. Thanks for checking out Trippy Food. If you enjoyed watching that video half as much as I did making it, well then I enjoyed it twice as much as you did. And if that's the case, you'll probably like this video right here. And if not, check out this video right here. That one's a little bit different. Either way, leave a comment down below and be sure to subscribe by clicking on the Trippy Food icon right here. Glad you could make it and we hope to see you again soon.